Welcome everyone. Well, as you probably guessed from the thumbnail here, I've just received a cease and desist notice from a Thai lawyer in relation to some of the videos that appear on this YouTube channel. The notice arrived via email on Friday the 26th of August 2022. It was sent by this Thai lawyer who practices in London. Here's a map of Ko Tao and Ko Nang Yuan, which appears in the top left hand corner. To give you an idea of scale, Ko Nang Yuan is about five or six hundred meters from Ko Tao. You will also notice from the map that Ko Nang Yuan is about two or three kilometers from Sairi Beach, which is where most of the violent crime and murders are reported to occur on Ko Tao. Let's now have a look at this cease and desist notice sent on behalf of the leaseholders of this absolutely beautiful little island. Dear Sir, our client, Nanguan Island Resort Company Limited, we represent our client in connection with the above referenced matter. It has come to our attention that the defamatory misrepresentation was made by YouTube user Kotal Murders Death Island in its video thumbnails. In your videos, we found pictures of Ko Nang Yuan Island, which our client entitles to a long-term leasehold for business purposes. This will serve as your notice to cease and desist all further actions described as follows. One, Ko Nang Yuan is a different legal entity from Ko Tao, the island of the storytelling in the video. Two, the Thai Treasury Department has granted absolute rights to our client to make business profits from hospitality services, including a resort, restaurant and diving site for coral reef viewing since 1993. Three, the appearance of Ko Nang Yuan pictures and videos while telling stories of the suspected crime is misleading the viewers that Ko Nang Yuan is where the crimes occurred. 4. Ko Nang Yuan has never been involved with any crimes claimed in the documentary or any other atrocious reputation. 5. The misrepresentation is misleading potential visitors to be frightened of the danger, risk and unsafety of Ko Nang Yuan which has directly damaged its reputation and caused business loss. We hereby request that you immediately change the thumbnails and cease and desist publishing and advertising all videos in your channel that include a picture or video footage of Ko Nang Yuan on all platforms, either YouTube, Instagram or other online media platforms. We also request that you provide us with prompt written assurance within 10 days from the date of this email that you will cease and desist from further actions described above. We enclose this email with screenshots of the thumbnails that show Ko Nang Yuan images. Please give this very important matter the utmost attention. Sincerely, Nang Yuan Island Dive Resort Company Limited, per Sully St. James. Here's my reaction to the cease and desist notice. With the greatest respect to James Tong Chat Ritiwong, the island is not, in fact, a legal entity and cannot be defamed. Therefore, I won't be changing the thumbnails. My channel exists for two reasons. Firstly, to warn unsuspecting tourists of the serious crime problems on Koh Tao and the propensity of local residents and police to cover up the dangers and shoot the proverbial messengers. Secondly, my channel exists to highlight the plight of two young Burmese scapegoats who have been languishing in Thai prisons for almost eight years now. Two of the thumbnails that the lawyer complained of were for videos promoting this book by Suzanne Buchanan whose objectives align with mine. This book by the way is available on Amazon and I strongly recommend it. One of the thumbnails was for a video featuring a letter by Zor Lin, 
who is one of the two scapegoats framed for the murders of Hannah Witheridge and David Miller. Okay, so there we have the notice plus just a few of my thoughts. But what are your thoughts? And have any other YouTubers received any similar notices where they have been including images of Ko Nang Yuan in their videos? I'd, be, I'd love to hear uh, if anyone has. Uh, secondly, uh, you know, what are your thoughts? Do you think that uh, business owners on Ko Tao and Ko Nang Yuan are merely innocent collateral damage? Or do you think that people who perhaps turn a blind eye to crime on Ko Tao are complicit in any way? I'd love to uh, get a few reactions to those uh, questions. And of course, there are many other issues that that notice throws up. In the description below, I'm going to include the addresses for Zor Lin and Wai Pyo because they really do appreciate receiving mail from people all over the world. And uh, if by any chance they ever get released, of course, I will uh, post something in the description below as well. So uh, have a look at that. And please do also check out any comments below because a lot of people do make some very insightful comments. So please check that out. And uh, also, look, I really do appreciate a thumbs up. I appreciate the comments. I do read all of them. Uh, no, I certainly appreciate uh, people who've got a considered opinion and who are not uh, merely trolls. And uh, I've got over 100 videos on this channel, so please, by all means, have a look at some of the other videos on this channel. They're a great resource of information. And um, I'm at about 2,000 subscribers now, so it's a modest channel, but it's been growing slowly and steadily. And uh, I'll take this opportunity to thank all of the people who have subscribed to the channel. I really do appreciate it. In the meantime, please stay safe and look after each other. Bye for now.